Aloha and good morning. Today is Thursday, April 9th, 2020, and today we're going to be doing a crayon drawing of a group of meerkats. I'm using one of my favorite materials, which is uh, Crayola crayons, and these are black Crayola crayons that I have sharpened some tips. I've left one kind of plain. Uh, I use these all the time when I'm drawing. And these are kind of like my favorite things to draw with. Uh, A, because the, the, the action on these when you're actually mark making with them on paper is just so much fun. Um, <clears throat> I love going to dinner and when they have crayons, man, it's on. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be drawing uh, with our sharpened crayon here. And if, if you don't have a sharpener, that's okay. You can use a knife. Um, you can use uh, like paper and kind of rub them to you get a nice point. I used an exacto knife on these guys here. I used a an old pencil sharpener for these guys, and I want one that has kind of like a just a stock tip, meaning that it's like you know the same beautiful kind of package deal that you get out of a Crayola crayon box. So I kind of hoard these whenever I. <laughs> If I, if I go to your restaurant, beware, I'm going to take your, either your brown or your black crayons. We're going to be drawing some meerkats today, and so we're going to be using this space here to do our drawing. We're going to have them kind of standing upright. We're going to have kind of a, a variety. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of figure out where our meerkats are going to go. We're going to they kind of look like little people when they're standing up on their hind legs. So we're going to, we're going to give them... Um, kind of like the whole page here, and they kind of have this weird, they're a lot chubbier, I guess you might say, than, than you would expect. Um, so they kind of have this weird, like, elongated shape. They're related to mongoose. All right, so we're going to put their little paws down here. So we're going to be using kind of like this whole page here. And we're just going to put this here as a placeholder. So just imagine kind of like um, a weird marshmallow shape, elongated marshmallow shape. This is going to be the head up here. I'm going to put in the hind legs here. Uh, oh, the, sorry, the four legs or the, the front legs here. Chest and tummy and then hind legs. Okay, we're going to do two... Meerkat up top. All right. Kind of facing one way. Along neck, along body. Okay, and then maybe a little guy in the bottom here. Kind of peeking through. Yeah. Peeking through this way. All right. These little cute little ears. All right. So all we're doing is now just kind of blocking right now for our drawing. Just blocking in where these where these creatures are gonna kind of live. You know what I mean? So Alright, now. Okay. So this is kind of like a, a pulled in view of our meerkats. Good morning, guys. And again, we're just using Crayola crayon and we're using it. This is a time honored medium um, wax with pigment. So it's kind of an ancient um, way of mark making. So we're gonna kind of squish down the face here. They have these really cute little eyeballs and we're going to kind of give the outer shape of the head here they have these cute little ears that kind of come down where this is more of a three-quarter view that we're going to be showing today we're going to place they have these really large patches over their eyes okay and we're going to kind of show these right so and then they have a little Nose, which is good. We're just gonna mark that in for right now. 
right? And then their mouth coming across here. All right, and a lot of times they look like they're smiling. Okay, we're gonna come down here, give them their, give them his little arms, note those in there. And I'm just putting in some placeholders for right now. I'm gonna come back and kind of clean this all up. Top, bottom of the tummy. Okay, hind legs start up here. All right. Okay. We're gonna make him look like he's. They have these really big eyes. They catch their prey using sight and communication of sound. And then their eye pattern, it's kind of like, comes down like a superhero mask here and then up, okay? And then also down, okay? So we're gonna do that, boom. Yes, it's a meerkat. And down, just like so. I'm gonna have him kind of looking to the side. Just like so. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna darken the value on the nose. Okay. So we have kind of like the beginning of our meerkat. We're gonna give him the nostril, or excuse me, the a shape of his nose. Okay. We're gonna frame out the top of his head. Okay. And they have dark mouths, so we're gonna put that in. Gonna darken those patches around the eyes. Okay. Now we're gonna use value to kind of show the fur. All right. We're also going to use value, as in more pressure on our crayon, to show the ears of our meerkat. Just like so. Okay, and I'm trying to preserve a lot of mark making here because I want to show texture.
his nose a little bigger. There we go. All right. More placeholders. Again, keeping my marks kind of fun and playful at the same time. Gonna add his claws here on the bottom. They're not like cats, they don't have retractable claws. They use these for digging up prey, for gripping the ground when they're chasing small rodents, when they're digging up grubs to eat. When I'm turning my crayon as I'm doing this, so. So I preserve a nice, sharp edge. Okay. All right. Belly fur. And I'm Doing shorter marks here on the, on the belly fur area. It is typically shorter fur on the bottom. Okay. Longer, coarser fur on the outside. Now I'm going to use more of a close grip on my crayon to be more controlled. Connect those. When we get down here, these are longer hairs. Yeah, just like so. And then it's like he's wearing Capris or furry capris. Yeah. Okay. Three little toes in the front. Boom and Darker shadows there. And now we're gonna go through afterwards this and clean it up a little bit later. Some more marks. Okay. Gonna move over here. We'll go to the bottom here, the other meerkat. He seems like he's maybe distracted by a grub of some sort. Like he sees something these other guys are not seeing. Go 
looking for this eye patch. Darken that. Hey, Pablo, long time no talk, brother. How you doing? Hope you and your family are safe. How's Spain, brother? Oh, man. It's crazy over there right now, I'm sure. So right now what we're doing is just creating the texture that we need for this guy on the bottom who's probably prowling insects, yeah? Most definitely prowling some insects. So he's behind this guy. Let's give him a little bit of a cast shadow. Cast shadow for his other paw. All right. Directional marks to kind of show the volume of said mirror cat. And again, we're using a time honored classical. Use of crayon, which has been used for centuries in the arts. For centuries. All right, so we're going to do our last meerkat in this group. He's got kind of a longer view of what's going on in the distance. He's looking off. Make that eye bigger. Yeah, there we go. Whoop. It happens. Crayons break. Looking off into the distance, and these guys burn a lot of calories during their time walking around, looking for food all the time. They're always hungry. 
Kind of like my dog. Same kind of build. All right, looking off into the distance as to what's out there. On the horizon. They're constantly checking the horizon because they have to. Not only are they predators, they're also prey. One of their most feared creatures in their lives are cobras. Not many other predators can catch them or follow them down into their their dens that they dig. But they're also quite immune to certain bites too as well, like many mongoose, but they're not totally immune. I know all this because I watched Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. <laughs> and Steve Irwin. So now that we have our three mirror cuts, I'm going to start going through with some details. I don't want to get too crazy. These are mirror cats. And this is a crayon drawing. So I'm just going through now. I'm going to be adding detail to the fur. And that's what's cool about using crayon is that using bigger marks, you know, and they're, you know, drawn with crayons really good for fur for neat textures. I loved drawing with a uh, crayon when I did figure drawing, when I was going through school. Um, you're not really blending as much, but uh, it's a lot of fun to draw with. And it's, you know, it's waterproof, it's permanent, on the page at least. Hey Lucy. and kind of smooth out some of these values and create a gradient here.
This might be a short one. You can cover a lot more ground. I can cover a lot of ground with crayon. Get a lot of stuff done in a very short period of time. Okay, so they're in the dirt. Little pause, little pause. Darken these values so he pops out a little bit. Yep. This is going to be a short one today, guys. Tomorrow, if you have any suggestions as to what I should draw for Friday, please DM me or message me in some capacity. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, looks like we are done, folks. So again, when you're drawing with crayon, just have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow in the bottom here. Give it a little bit of weight. And then we'll be done. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So again, uh, Friday is a choice day, so people's choice day. So if you have suggestions as to what I should draw tomorrow, keep in mind I'm going to do probably a graphite drawing tomorrow. Um, so just DM me, message me, let me know what you want me to draw tomorrow in graphite. Once again, uh, happy Thursday. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow, tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.